So I wanted to show you another way to make your models move and that's by using the pulley on your motor. So I've attached mine with some of my tape onto the battery pack. I've left the switch at the top. Um, I've connected my battery pack to the bottom of the motor and I've just connected it there and I've got the pulley on the end of the motor like that spinning. So when I turn the motor on, though you can't see it, this pulley spins. Okay, and I'm going to attach this to this card or the cardboard box here. And I'm going to make something a little bit like a windmill, except windmills are powered by wind, not by electric motors. So this isn't really going to be a windmill. It's going to be, I don't know, something else that spins using electric motor. So we could think about why we might want something to spin. Uh, oh, I know what might be useful. Uh, something like a um, high-tech scarecrow. So the birds have been eating all of the wheat from the fields that I live next door to recently and the farmer's not very happy. So traditionally they would have had a scarecrow, but maybe we could use something like this instead to scare the birds. We'll see what it looks like and you can tell me whether you think. So basically I've, I've attached that to this small box and then I found this other little box that I'm going to put on here. And this is what we're going to attach our kind of windmill end to. So if you are able to use a hot glue gun and you have that and your grown ups are able to use it with you, then that might be. This might be the kind of thing that you would attach using that. But because I know some of you won't have that, I'm just going to use some tape. Um, but you can decide the best way that you think in order to kind of attach your cardboard together. Remember, we went, there are those attachment techniques as well that I did in another video. So you can revisit that if you want to. Let's put a piece of tape at the front as well. I think this seems to be holding it OK. I quite like this blue tape. OK, so we've got that now. And what I've done, I've found some old plastic bottle tops like this, and I've just also got some uh, of these kind of kitchen skewers. They're made of bamboo. And I've just very carefully, right in the centre of the wheel, just popped a tiny little hole like that so that you can put it on. But we want the wheel and the bamboo to turn together, so we want it to be nice and snug and tight in there. And what I've done onto my wheel is I've just stuck with glue some um i've only used a glue stick so they're not very they're not stuck very firm but i've just stuck on um some of these kind of windmill looking sails and i'm now going to then put this through i've already made a hole in the front of this box let's see if i can find where to put it on on the outside there we go so the idea is that this now spins when we spin this it spins but what I'm wanting to do is to be able to turn on the motor and then for the motor to spin it. So let's see if we can get it to work. So we've got our pulley down here and we've got our motor that's able to spin. And we've got this shaft up here that can also spin. So we want to use the power from the motor to spin this. So I'm going to get elastic band. We've got quite a few different sizes in your pack. So you're just going to have to see on your model which one's going to work best. So I'm going to hook it round the pulley and then very carefully oops I'm gonna try and stretch it round the shaft like that now we're just gonna have to see when we turn this on what happens because it's pulling it down quite a lot there's a lot of friction on here so it's not really working I think we might need to try a bigger elastic band so that there's less friction, so it's not pulling this down quite so much. Let's try this bigger size. Round here and make sure it's round our pulley. So now our elastic band's going, but it's not there's not quite enough friction for it to work either. So we're kind of somewhere in the middle. Let's try and see what will happen if we twist our elastic band around. A 
Let's see if that gives us any more. I need to give a little bit of a help. So it's catching a little bit on the front. Try moving that off a bit. It's trying. I think it's still too much friction having that on like that. So really what we need to find is an elastic band that's in between those two sizes. I wonder if that white one's any better. Oh yeah, that one might just be the right size. Let's try that one. Try and untwist the elastic band so it's nice and straight. See if that helps. Okay. Turn it on. There we go. Oops. We get it to work. Yes. Fantastic. So it's still, it's not doing it super duper fast or anything spectacular. There we go. A few adjustments. I'll try not to. Brilliant. We got it to work. So see what you can make with your pulley and your motor. Can you get something to spin like this? Whether you get it to work or not, why don't you post your um, videos and show us and tell us how you've got on? Brilliant. Bye for now.